Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to kill the Flaming Orchid, the Moonlight Aster, and the Winter Bloom. These bosses are part of the Within the Tides quest and are killed during the first mission. I'll be showing the routes, starting by NPC Terran in Port Hope, just south of the Azura Palace. Make sure to bring a Dwarven Ring to make it easier to run through the Azuras. To be able to access the boss rooms, you have to kill some of the creatures that are found throughout the palace. The Flaming Orchid requires you to have killed two Greater Fire Elementals and three Cave Hydras. The Moonlight Aster requires killing three Vicious Liches and two Vile Destroyers, while the Winter Bloom requires killing two Greater Energy Elementals and one Solitary Frost Dragon. I recommend when you first enter the palace, head to the northeast and drop down the cracks to kill the Greater Energy Elementals. Once they are dead, I would head down to the bottom floor and drop down the Pitfall to kill the Cave Hydras. Once these are killed, you can head to the western side of the bottom floor to find a new set of cracks. Dropping down here, you immediately find two vicious liches. Kill them, and follow the path to the northeast where you will find and kill the solitary frost dragon. When the frost dragon is dead, head to the west to find the door to fight the winter bloom. Once you've defeated the winter bloom, go up four floors. In the southwestern part of this floor, you will find cracks that will take you down to the vile destroyers. Finally, once you defeat them, go back up the rope hole up to the next floor. The cracks in the northeastern part of this floor will take you down to the Greater Fire Elementals. After you've killed them, you have access to the final two bosses, the Moonlight Aster and the Flaming Orchid. Go up to the roof of the palace and there'll be two more doors that you should now have access to, allowing you to fight the final bosses. The door immediately to the south contains the Midnight Aster, and the door to the east contains the Flaming Orchid. If you're able to run the palace, you shouldn't have issues with any of the bosses. Have between 4,000 and 5,000 health, you hit upwards of 1,000 damage. They do go invisible frequently, which can be annoying. Physical, energy, and holy damage are consistent across all bosses, but as a mage you may have to optimize your damage type depending on the boss. Their resistances are similar to the regular Azura counterparts. All of these bosses are in the Arch Foe category, which means you will get 100 boss points total for 60 kills. They can be killed every 20 hours, and you do have to kill the creatures throughout the palace to gain access to the boss rooms every time, which can be annoying. There's no benefit to assigning any of these bosses to your boss slot as they just drop NPC syllable loot. If you add these to your boss rotation, you'll gain 300 points total in the 60 days it takes to fully unlock them. Hopefully this video helps you unlock these three bosses in your boss cherry. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting!